Hello guys, today I'll show you how to make your character attack as many times as you want in one turn, using potions of Angelic Reprieve and a 7th level Cleric, with 3 levels of Sorcerer Multiclass, on Honor Mode of course. Here's how it works, we steal as many Angelic potions as possible from Lantar for a Necromancer from a Circus, resetting the assortment by long rests. With that amount of potions you can repeatedly consume level 1 and level 2 spell slots, restoring them with a little nap, gaining hundreds of sorcery points without any limitations. All these sorcery points you can use to create 4 level spell slots that are needed for the Cleric's Death Ward spell, the strongest spell in the game, because if you kill a character under the effect of Death Ward, they will regain all their actions, bonus actions, and movement speed. And most importantly, when the Cleric who buffs your damage dealer with Death Ward start to running out of actions, he can cast Death Ward on himself, after which your other character can shoot him, and Cleric will revive, ready to continue using Death Ward. And this can go on until the Cleric runs out of 4th level spell slots, and is you remember, their quantity depends solely on how much time you spend stealing angelic potions from the NPCs. In other words, theoretically you can make as many attacks per turn as you want, up to a thousand or more. I really don't understand why nobody has covered this topic before me, but the point is that the mechanics of that ward have been broken since the game's release, and doing without abusing angelic potions it allows you to win all battles in one turn from the very first act, especially if you build your characters correctly. Probably in the near future I will make a more comprehensive video guide on it. But for now you can check out my other guide on the strongest solo playthrough build, which doesn't require resting. You can see it on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching and have a good day.